The polls are now closed and the results are starting to come in. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jonathan Martin and I'm Rashi Vats. We have complete coverage for you tonight. So if you look at the bottom of your screen, you will see results from a number of races and we have some big news in the race for governor. It's one of the biggest races that we're looking at here. So Fox News has declared Governor Abbott the winner. Here's a look at some of those numbers. We know that 17% are reporting here that it's 53% of the vote going to Greg Abbott and Better or Work, 45%. Again, Governor Abbott being declared the winner by Fox News. And we have team coverage across the Houston area tonight and across the state as well, keeping a close eye on some of the key races in this year's midterm. We start tonight with our Tom Ziska, who's live in McAllen at Governor Abbott's watch party. Tom. Jonathan Rashi, you'll forgive me. Uh, the band behind me just started playing. It's very loud. Difficult to hear you. Fox News made that projection about 40 minutes ago here in McAllen for the Abbott watch party. And there are about a couple hundred Abbott supporters down here in the valley who were ecstatic to hear the news. The fact that we are down here in McAllen is no small coincidence. The governor campaigned very heavily on the issue of immigration and the management of the seemingly endless thousands and thousands of migrants that have come across the border and what to do with them. A lot of those migrants pass through here in McAllen. Those who are undocumented are typically sent back. Those here seeking asylum are given some paperwork, put on a bus and sent someplace else in the United States. The people who live here are feeling very overwhelmed by all of that. So they are hopeful that this victory, if it holds for Governor Abbott, after all of the votes are counted, will do something to help that because I heard from more than one person here along the border that they want something done from Washington, from Austin, all the way down here to Hidalgo County and counties up and down the Rio Grande River. So with that in mind, we are waiting for Governor Abbott to come out here. He's expected very soon, I would presume. We've not been given a time, but he will come up to the stage behind me and make his victory speech. We don't know when that will happen, but when it does, we will bring it to you. We will stream it to you from McAllen. While we wait for that, we will send it to El Paso, where the Better O'Rourke campaign is also watching these results. Gabby Hart is there. Gabby. Yeah, well, we're still waiting on Beto O'Rourke to show up here to this election night party. But here, there's really an atmosphere of hope uh, and people really thinking that there might still be a chance. Uh, take a look around. We see dozens, almost 200 Beto O'Rourke supporters here in the building tonight. They have signs. They're wearing T-shirts. Uh, everyone really, you know, saying that they thought there was a real chance for Beto O'Rourke to really bring it home. You can see there's more people on this side. And if you come right outside with me, there are a lot of supporters in the building uh, right out this door. They have food trucks. There's bars here, a uh, live band. And you can see a more quiet atmosphere here than what's happening uh, at Governor Abbott's party. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I can tell you uh, that the governor actually, uh, not the governor, excuse me, Beto O'Rourke actually, uh, took home. He, he won most of uh, the El Paso vote. You can see people are out here conversating and talking. Uh, and I can tell you uh, that we're waiting on Beto O'Rourke to come out. I'm being told to wrap right now, but we'll be here throughout the night and we'll have more updates uh, from this watch party on our Facebook, Twitter pages. Uh, for now, I'm live in El Paso. Gabby Hart, Fox 26 News.